Are you creative looking for a way to start your own business? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start a business from scratch and start making money doing something you love. Stay tuned. Hey you guys, it's your girl Deandra and I'm back with another video. So I know it could be hard to find a job that you're passionate about. Many people give up on their dreams and settle for something that they don't want just because it's easy. But in today's world, there is no excuse to not be doing what you actually love to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to start your own creative business step by step so that you can get to where you want to be and start doing what you love. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, you need to come up with a business idea and find clarity on what you want to do. So if you're still trying to figure out what you want to do, you can check out my video on how to find your passion to get started. So there are three types of businesses that you can start. And the first one is a product based business. Product based businesses are when you have a physical product like a perfume, um, makeup, pens, journals. Those are physical products that clients can either go to a store and purchase or order online. The next one would be a service-based business. A service-based business can be if you're a makeup artist, hairstylist, you do any contracting, interior design, any of those fields are all service-based businesses where you are forming a relationship between you and the client and you are providing a service for the client for a fee. The third is a digital business. This is where you create digital products and you deliver them on an online platform such as Shopify or be some type of e-commerce website. So once you figure out the type of business you want to run, then you can start formulating your idea and gain clarity on what you actually want to do. All right, so next you need to do your research. This is a tip that a lot of business owners seem to skip, but I feel like it's really important to do your market research on your competition and just like the ins and outs of whatever product or service you will be providing. You don't want to put all this money in and invest in this product or platforms and services, and then whatever you're offering is a flop. No one's going to buy it. No one wants it. So you need to research your competition and see what they're doing, see how they're marketing the product or services. So then you can get more clarity on what you want to do, how you want to offer it and have more confidence when it comes to launching your product or service. You don't want to go in blind because that's when you lose and also fear and all of those things come into play when you don't actually know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so the next step is you need to create a business plan. A business plan is essential for your business. I know when you hear the word business plan, you're thinking of this long and extensive um, document that you have to fill out, but it doesn't have to be that long. For starting out, it could be one page and you just you know put all your ideas, your goals, financial forecast, things like that on a paper. So you can just have a general guide for your business to solidify what your mission is and the why behind your business. So that whenever you're feeling kind of down or things aren't going in your favor, you can always revert back to your business plan and just remember why you're starting this business and what your goals were, all of those things in between. I also created a business plan that you can download and I will link it in the comments below so that you can start working on that today. So the next step is you need to register your business. I don't know how many business owners that I've ran into who skip this step and I'm like, how are you running a business? No, you need to register your business and set up your finances. So the easiest way to register your business in the States, this is for if you're in the US, you go to irs.gov and you sign up and you get your EIN number. That's when you can actually start your business. Then you need to figure out what your business structure is. There are a few. So there's sole proprietor, an LLC, corporation, or a partnership. I'm not going to really go into detail on what those are. Do your research on which one will fit your business. Then you need to register for any licenses or permits that you need for your businesses. This is when you have to research because you want to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row when it comes to any license or permits. Also getting any insurances that you need for your businesses. So whatever industry you're in, I would highly recommend 
looking into that because it is helpful and it will save you in the long run. If you are starting any type of apparel or business where you are going to have to buy supplies, make sure that you register for a wholesale license so that you don't have to pay market value price for anything that you're purchasing. Once you have all your paperwork in place, you're going to go to your bank or a bank that you would like to bank with and start a business account and get everything set up and situated so you can start collecting payments and also getting credit cards or debit cards for your business so then you can start processing all of your expenses in one place which will make it so much easier to keep track of all of your expenses and pay-ins and payouts. So the next step is setting up your website. I feel like a lot of businesses are running their business through Instagram DM, which is cool, but I don't think it's the smartest idea. Last year I was hacked, my business account was hacked, and I had several other friends who had their accounts hacked, and those who ran their businesses all through DM lost everything. So I highly recommend that you get a website, make it look nice. They're super easy to make now. Google has a, an easy way to make websites. And also one of my favorite platforms is Squarespace. Super easy. I have a link. So go ahead and click that and make sure you try them out and see if you can build a website through them. You look professional. You have a professional storefront because this is your face. It's your first impression. If you have a service-based business, you will have a, a nice, clean inquiry form. And then if you have a product-based business, your products will be laid out really nicely and you know everything's in one place. So I highly recommend that you build a website. Okay, so the next step is setting up your business operations. This is another essential step that you need for starting a successful business. If you're having a service-based business, you need to find a CRM system, which is a client relationship management program. Um, my two favorites are HoneyBook or Dubsado. I personally use HoneyBook and I've been using them for the past few years. And honestly, I love it. It's seamless and it actually has doubled my income when I start using them because the payment and invoice processing is beautiful and I feel like your clients feel more secure with giving you their money because they can also just put their credit card information on the platform and it's submitted right to you. So HoneyBook is great and Dubsado is great as well. Just make sure you get one in place if you have a service business. If you have a product-based business, you can use Shopify or Squarespace because Squarespace has the e-commerce portion on their websites as well. So one of those platforms will definitely help you out. If you have a digital product, Flowdesk, which is an email marketing platform, just launched Flowdesk Checkout. So if you just have one product, like an ebook or something like that, they have a checkout page, which is great, easy to go through, and your clients can just purchase it. And you will also collect their email so you can start building an email list for your business. Those are the ones that I highly recommend when it comes to your business operations. And don't forget about accounting. Easy one to go to is QuickBooks. And on QuickBooks, you can actually send invoicing as well. So that's another platform. So you can start connecting your business account with your QuickBooks account so that everything is in intertwined and you know where your money's going and how much money is coming in. So the next step is you need to market your business. Now, when you start your business, I know sometimes you can be kind of nervous, like, um, should I tell everyone that I have this, you know, jewelry line or that I have this new lip gloss that is coming out? Yes, tell everyone, especially your friends and family, because if they love you, they're going to share it. They're going to promote you. And then all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you can also rely on some free advertisement on Pinterest. I feel like a lot of people sleep on Pinterest. You can make pens and upload your your products, even your services, and you can promote them organically. You can pay um, a day rate if you want to do ads on Pinterest as well. People will start like finding your product and boom, there you have sales. So Pinterest is a great way to market your business for free. Okay. And last but not least, build your team. And in the beginning, you will probably be writing it out solo, but 
I've learned that you do need to start hiring out and hiring a team to help you actually grow your business and accomplish your goals. If you're trying to do everything yourself, you're going to experience burnout and that's not fun because that's when you start doubting yourself and wanting to give up. Don't be afraid to reach out to your friends and family because they will be there for you. And if you follow these steps, you will start you know, launching that business and turn your dreams into reality. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this has helped you out. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure you haven't already subscribe and share this video. All right, guys, I will see you guys next week. Peace.